How's it going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough and welcome back. Today we've got another unboxing and this one I'm really excited for. Now before we get started, I did want to share with you guys a few of my other recent pickups. I purchased this t-shirt which is from the Nike and Olivia Kim collection. There were a lot of really cool pieces in that collection. This one was one of the only ones that was made specifically for men and I just love the design of it. It's got like a vintage 90s feel which was the overall inspiration for the collection. They used a very nice cotton and I love the small swoosh in the center of the chest instead of being to the left. I think center of the chest logos always look better. And then the other thing that I picked up recently, which actually I got this off Amazon, was the collab book by Elizabeth Simmelhack. Now this book right here goes through and highlights a lot of collaborations that have to do with not only sneakers, but also the culture. And there's a huge range from Walt Disney to Jeff Staple, to 50 Cent, Cause, to Union. It's an absolutely great piece. And this is just one of those pieces that you want to have if you're into sneakers and you want to have something to display, whether it's in your bedroom, your living room, your office, wherever it may be, this is definitely a must have in my opinion. The quality is fantastic. So much history, great photos. All right, and with that out of the way, let's get back to unboxing this pair of shoes. And if you haven't gotten the theme of today's video, my shirt was designed by a woman. This book was written by a woman and these shoes were also designed by a woman. And I honestly cannot wait to see what these look like. So let's go ahead and get this box open. As you can tell, this is a different Nike box. That is because this is a Nike by you. As promised, Nike by you. Now on the front, it says, Nike by Blake, but these are not Nike by Blake. These are Nike by Miko. She is a DJ amongst other things, but she was selected by Nike and the We Are Cultivator program to design her own pair of shoes. That's what this whole Nike by You program is about. It's not just creating a custom shoe, but telling a story with that shoe. She did a fantastic job from what I've seen in photos. I'm really excited to unbox these. And what I wanna do guys is while I unbox these, if I can get them open, what I wanna do is tell you guys the story behind the shoe, why Miko chose the colors that she chose, and basically why they're so significant to her and her story. Inside the box is the same Nike by You paper that comes in every Nike by You box. So as far as the packaging goes, the packaging is the exact same. Oh man, these are sick. So here we have the Air Max One by Miko Chusok. This shoe is really nice in hand. The colors are very clean. Okay, let me get both shoes out and then we can talk about them. Okay, now this is the Air Max One Chusok. Chusok is a Korean holiday and Miko is from Korea, but she was raised in the United States. And so this shoe is to, he has to get in every video. And this shoe is to not only honor her heritage and where she's from, but to also show where she was raised, which was here in the United States. So on the back of the shoe, this is the coolest detail to me. On the left shoe right here, you've got the Nike Air logo. And below it, you've got the SEO for Seoul, South Korea. And then on the right shoe, you've got the same Nike Air logo, but below it stitched into the heel is ATL for Atlanta. And so this was a shoe that I did not want to pass up, mainly because I love shoes that have a deeper meaning and connection. Now Chuseok is a Korean holiday. It's a very, very big holiday in Korea from what I understand. And it's similar to our Thanksgiving here in the United States. It's a big family gathering, very, very important to spend time with your family during this time. And so this shoe is really a way for her to encompass both identities that she shares, not only being Korean, but also being American. And I just think it's so cool that Nike has a platform for people to be able to express themselves. I think that's what really sets Nike apart from other brands. It's just really Really, really awesome to see something like this come together and I am so happy to be able to have added this shoe into my collection unfortunately these are no longer available they were only sold for 10 days from November 1st until November 10th and luckily for me one of my friends had shared a post that these were on sale shout out to Quentin and so I went ahead immediately ordered my pair these were hundred and thirty dollars which is a great deal for something that honestly you'll never be able to get again and I'm sure you guys are wanting to see these up close so let's go ahead and get to some of that footage right now.
outsole, you've got the gum outsole, which I absolutely love. I think gum outsoles on Air Max and also Air Force Ones just look so good. It honestly doesn't even matter what color the upper is. Following the gum outsole, you've got a white midsole with a beige or off-white airbag. The mudguard is also a beige suede, and then the upper is just a white leather. Overall, the colors of this shoe are very neutral, but on the lateral and medial side of the shoe, you've got this pine green swoosh, which looks fantastic. And the sock liner, I'd also consider a pine green. However, it's lighter. It's not as dark as the swooshes. I also wanted to share the color palette inspiration behind the design of this shoe. The white represents rice, which is a main ingredient in one of the dishes that they serve during chew sock. The pine green here on the swoosh and then on the sock liner represents their respect for the pine trees in the Korean culture. And then also it's a main ingredient in the dish with the rice. Now I do not want to mess up the pronunciation of this dish, but it's Song Pyon, which is the rice and pine needle dish that is served during the Chuseok holiday. And I think that's so special to be able to use a sneaker to educate and share her story and her culture with other people that maybe aren't familiar. And that's why I wanted to show you guys these shoes, unbox these for you here on my channel, because I love this shoe and I think the story is really cool behind them. There were tons of other great collabs I saw online as well and the theme nike wanted all of the cultivators to use was give thanks and i think miko absolutely killed this i know i've seen a lot of people on instagram that have been buying these and already putting them on trust me now that i've got them finally unboxed they are going straight onto my feet and if you guys would like to follow me on instagram it is plain kicks atl right here on the bottom of the screen i just think the colors of this shoe are absolutely fantastic and i love the cream laces i think that was a really nice touch i think all white laces wouldn't have looked that good so i'm glad she chose to go with a cream or beige lace i think that looks really nice i just love the heels of this shoe it's such a sick detail and i'm so torn if you guys saw i purchased just a Nike Air Max One display while I was in London for SneakerCon. I really want to put these shoes in it. However, I want to wear them as well. So maybe I'll just have to kind of put them in, take them out. And if you didn't see it, let me show you what that looks like. This is such a cool display to me. You've got the Air Max Ones that hang inside the display. So you guys tell me what you think in the comment section below. Should I go ahead and start wearing these? or put them in the display for a little bit. I honestly don't know what I wanna do. I really want to wear them. And that is gonna wrap up today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. If so, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. I appreciate the support you guys show me each and every video. Please, let's keep that up. December is my one year YouTube anniversary and I've got some big things planned for you guys. I am ready to do another giveaway. That will be at 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 guys, 5,000 subscribers, and that will be the next giveaway. So let's see if we can get there before 2020 gets here. So until next Monday, guys, I'm out.